No self-respecting food conference would be complete these days without a session on edible insects. But are they a gimmick or are they a serious source of alternative protein? Insects have been an important part of the human diet for millions of years. Um, insects would have been a very nutritional resource that our hominid ancestors would have utilized a lot. And so thinking about it today as an alternative food source is really interesting to me because we think of it here in the United States or in Europe as an alternative protein, but really it's a primary food resource for billions of people around the world today. And it would have been important over the course of our human evolution. Oh, I think they're definitely a serious source. So they're, um, I mean, there, there's the biodiversity, there are lots of different species that could be utilized, um, but they're, I mean, just, just the crickets and the mealworms alone that are already mass produced, they're, they're clean, they're, uh, they're, they're raised in farms, um, we can mass produce, they're, everything is manual right now, so it, as soon as that's mechanized, uh, they'll be very, very cheap, um, a, a very secure source, so they're, uh, they're very prolific, the growth rates are very high, so you can produce a lot of protein very quickly and efficiently. I think it's, uh, they're, they're easy to process, we're working with a lot of the functionality, and things. Um, they, it works well in pastas and protein shakes and uh, baked goods and just about any kind of food product. So I mean, I think, I think that it has a lot of utility in the food industry. Now the FDA says insects can be considered as human food, provided they're raised according to certain criteria. But what about allergen issues? The primary issue at the moment is that um, shellfish allergics appear to be also sensitive to insect proteins when ingested. Um, so there's a degree of cross-reaction between shellfish and insects, which looks to be an issue. At the moment, though, we don't know enough about it, really, to, um, to give solid advice to producers. Uh, but all we can say is that uh, we would suggest people who make foods containing insect protein should label them um, appropriately as being perhaps not suitable for shellfish allergics. But how tasty are insects, and what do they like to work with? They're kind of like a blank canvas on some of them. On the crickets, there's really not a lot of flour um, when they're ground in the cricket meal, the cricket flour, it's um, really more of a neutral ingredient. So whatever you're cooking, it actually absorbs the flavor of it. So it's really like adding nutrients without really changing texture, flavor, or color of the ingredient. So it's a pretty neat component. The, the, um, using wax worms and meal worms are a little different. The texture obviously is there. So when you grind them, they're almost similar to grinding uh, pork um, or chicken maybe or ground turkey. So you can use them into something. We've used them into different meat products like sausages. Uh, we've used them and to make like hamburger patties or you know like a slider little sandwich. And those have a little bit more flavor, but if you cut them uh, maybe equal parts with some sort of meat, they pick up the flavor of the meat you're using then too. You know, when I first introduced them into the classroom or with the, the students, they looked at them and of course they are insects. So they looked at them with the, the look of, I hope you don't expect us to try anything we make. But after we talked about really every food that we use comes from a body part of an animal or you know, maybe it's something that when you think of actually where it's located um, that maybe then there's that ick factor too. And so once they got past that and they understand that it's just another possible food source, we made foods, they tried it, and I think because it didn't have a bad texture or it didn't have a really strong flavor, they actually thought they tasted pretty good. And the fact that they were getting more nutrients, they thought that was a pretty neat thing too. So for a college-age student, Extra protein, extra nutrients was a pretty good deal.